Media status indicators tell you information about your clip with just a swift glance up to the media library. Understanding what they mean will help you work with your media much more efficiently, so let's dive in. First off, the thumbnail for every piece of media in your library here will have an icon to the right indicating the nature of that media. So a photo, video, video with audio, or piece of audio on its own. When you've chosen what you'd like to add to your project and have placed it on the timeline, you'll see an orange line appear at the bottom of the thumbnail. This indicates which part of that clip has been used in the current project you're in. If you add the entire clip, the orange line will cover the entire width of the thumbnail. If you pre-trim and only use a section, it'll only cover that portion, helping you to quickly see what's on your timeline and what isn't by simply looking up to the media library. That same portion will be underlined at the bottom edge of the preview when a source clip is loaded. If you have multiple parts of the same clip on the timeline, you'll see multiple lines. This helps you avoid accidentally adding the same parts of the clip to the timeline more than once. Another indicator that can help with this is the yellow check mark next to the media thumbnail which will appear when a clip is used within the current project you're in. When you see a white check mark, this indicates the media has been used on another timeline, perfect for monitoring the use of your media between projects. If your footage has a cloud icon next to it, this indicates you're only able to view it in LumaFusion via an internet or other connection as it's not yet local to your device. A few examples of this would be when you're previewing media in iCloud Photos app, videos on Frame.io, external drive media, or browsing through royalty-free content on Storyblocks. If you choose to add any of these files to the timeline, your media will be automatically cached in LumaFusion, indicated by a box with a file inside. This ensures that you can continue to work with this media in the future if you go offline or if the external hard drive you're working with is removed or changed. If you're working off an external drive and don't want media on it to be cached, make sure you have external drive editing toggled on in the help and settings menu. Note that clips that need access to media on an external drive will show a small external drive icon on them. When the drive is not available, the clip will still show the external drive icon, but will also show stripes to indicate missing media. If you import a media file that's not supported in LumaFusion, you'll see a warning with an exclamation mark to show the file is not compatible. And finally, if you're using Frame.io or Dropbox Replay with your team, you'll see a comment icon appear next to your clip if it has comments added to it. These markers along the preview will be orange if the comments were made in Frame.io or Dropbox Replay, but white if they were made in LumaFusion. So, whether you're working alone or as part of a team, the media status indicators are there to help you understand your content a little better.